right, that, that works a bit quick. Can you get me the ephedrine and uh, just pass it over, thanks. I feel sick. Yep, and can you put the wedge in? Alrighty, I'm just going to give you something for that. Okay, that, this happens all the time. Doing very well. Okay, we're just putting in the wedge that takes the pressure of your belly off your big arteries, okay? I've just got to test your block now to make sure it's okay. That's good. Can you feel that on your face, that feel cold? Yep. Okay, that's good. What about this? No. Nothing? I can't feel anything. Nothing, that's normal. That's good. No. 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 There? No. Great, okay, you've got a good block there. We're going to have no problems with that. Thanks, sister. Can you squeeze my fingers for me? Nice tight squeeze. Very good. That's excellent. Okay, your block's working fantastically well. Okay, we're right to get started. It's been taking so long. Oh, Mr. Zeffirelli. No, the block's done. She's got a spine. Yeah, of course. Why? That's what I was told to do. Who are you? I'm Joe Brickman. I'm the anaesthetic locum on tonight. Hi, Joe. I think you've just put my patient in a wheelchair. Oh, what do you mean? Where's your boss? What do you want him for? Where's your bloody boss? Mrs Zeffirelli has severe preeclampsia. Her platelets are 49, her iron R is 1.9, and you've just gone and stuck a ruddy no. grade harpoon in her back, no. haven't you? No, Look, the platelet's 145, my consultant saw her and said the swan was fine. Pardon the French, Doc, but your consultant's full of shit. Where is she? Well, she's not here. What? I, I left specific instructions for her to be contacted and for her to come to this case. <laughs> Mrs Zeffirelli, the anaesthetists have made a terrible mistake, I'm sorry. But they should not have put that needle in your back. No, Dr. Stephen, that's your not right. Your baby's going to be fine. Right. We just oh, need to get her out. I can assume that the platelets and FFP haven't been cross-matched. I mean, has ICU know? Do they know about her? Well, no. no. Useless. Just useless. I left specific instructions for the consultant anaesthetist to be here for this case. It's a Category 2, and instead I find the junior burger yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Hold on. If it's so important, then why didn't you contact the consultant yourself? Right. If I spent all my life contacting people who needed to do their job properly, nothing would be done. Do you guys want written invitations hey, look, for these all, cases? With all due respect, that's really inappropriate. With all due respect. <laughs> really inappropriate. This always happens with this it's department, and I'm right sick of it. Then you then guys you could not organise a <laughs> fight in a oh, snack oh, pit. Oh, shit. Prepper. Okay. All right, just put some propylene on for me. We'll get some oxygen on. Thanks for being hold it down. Righto. Um, nurse, um, yeah, what, what's your name? Lisa. Oh. Lisa, can you go get the, um, can you go get the penithal for me? The, the penithal. Just, yeah, just keep the crocodile on, just try and keep it still. Um, the big syringe. The, the thigh pentone. Righto. Just hold that mask for me, okay? Just keep it off. Okay. Rightio. Oh shit, not that one. Can you give me the other one, thanks? The um, in the yellow with the yellow label. Alright. Okay. That's in. Alright. She stopped fitting. Okay, that's excellent. Okay. Rightio, can you give me the sucks methonium now? Rightio, thanks. Okay, now it's gonna be a difficult intubation. Um, right, yeah, the red syringe, okay. Alright, just leave that. Okay, sucks is in. Thanks, okay. Rightio. Now I've um, got that, got that. Can you give me a size 7 tube? Lisa, yeah, quick, there. come on, come on. Oh. Right here. Quick guys, this Okay, just, just hold it for a second for me. Okay, you ready? Right here. Okay. Okay, can I have a tube, thanks? Lisa. Lisa. Uh, 